Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. I am not done with breakfast, but I am playing Magic. Um, I am going to be eating in the middle. We are going to play first. And we are going to toss his hand back. Uh, reasoning we don't have a single color, even though we have the Shaman to kind of fix that. We can't play him. So, let's go ahead and drop down. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, hello and good luck. Um, this is a situation where this would have been better as the Goyf. But I think this hand is still keepable. I mean, we got the library so we can find another green source and start beating in. Um, provided our opponent doesn't just go like, hey, look, I'm the combo player. And if they do do that, I hope that they go goblins without a duress. Um, mm. Sorry, burn my mouth on the eggs. Uh, yeah. Cheesy eggs for breakfast. I know, I know, Gordon Ramsay will tell you don't do certain things, but I don't care. He's not in my kitchen. He's not, I'm not paying him millions of dollars to do it. So, the eggs get made my way. That means milk, cheese, and chive. Uh, do, 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 yep. You can see the name of my Wi-Fi and the fact that I'm terribly connected to it. Yeah, that was the problem with this laptop. It's one of the reasons why I replaced it outside of being super old. I am literally mm, 10, 15 feet away from the router. Yeah, my connection is terrible with this thing. And the new one is flawless. Like, I have no issues at all. But the whole time that I was complaining about my internet, yeah, it turned out to be the laptop. I uh, finally got off my lazy butt and checked that out and... Yeah, we're here now. Live in the moment, right? Carpe diem. Or as you young kids say, YOLO. I really hate YOLO. It's like, of all the things, okay, I can understand some of the things. Like, you didn't want to spell, I'm laughing out loud, so you made lol. You came up with a life phrase? Really? Really? All right, we're just going to let this slide. I know stifle's a thing, but so is wasteland, and one of those is more prevalent. So, let's uh, hope that he doesn't. Okay, so we're playing against most likely a Jun, uh, Jun deck, and this hand just got infinitely worse. Um, I've seen our opponent. Uh, I have no idea of how to how to produce the A with the quotes over it as a noise, so I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to call him Backyard. Um, I'm assuming it's a German name. I'm not going to fetch because any land would help. Yay! <laughs> Sick rip. <laughs> uh, we'll go get the bayou and green, green. He's probably looking like, that's dumb. He's probably looking at these in my initial hand like, what in the world are those for? Uh, let's see. So next turn we get to pulse him. He'll probably... Well, he can't play Liliana. So, I'm assuming this is a Bob, by the way. Oh, nope, him. You know what, though? Him means that I can just waste him. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, red gives him removal. Green gives him goif. There we go. Ah, uh, he still gets it. Let's see now. If we hit, can we shrink that thing enough? Uh, I have instant creature land enchantment. No. We can only make that thing a two. Uh, we can make it a two three, but we can't shrink it. So, bam. No attack. Right now, it looks like I'm going to bog my own yard. Hey, look, he's out of mana. I'm going to take a bite of my eggs. I hope you guys are all right. I'm not going to wait till these things cool off, because as anybody who eats eggs will tell you, cold eggs taste terrible. Mm. <laughs> I'm just going to go on record as saying, you guys just saw that? Did you see it? Yeah. Uh, we're going to take out his graveyard... What can I get with this? I can get Pride Mage with this. In another turn, I could just get Death Right right now. He's got Discard. Well, 
me cancel that. All right, so let's see. I have three things in my yard. He's got two. That makes it a two, three as opposed to, yeah. But all he's got to do is just use an instant, which would be abrupt decay, or which brings it back up to a four or five. This is actually an important time. Um, let's see. My knights right now survive a bolt, and I think that that's more important. I'm just going to let this go. I mean, if he, if he makes me discard this thing... Wait, wait, wait. What? I have it all? I do have it all. Whoops. Maybe I should have done me. That guy finally came in. Yeah, what I was laughing at was uh, the fact that this thing basically acted as a goif anyway. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Any way you want it. Doom, 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 doom. Well. I'm willing to fight a second. I'm not willing to fight another. Uh, we didn't make that any bigger because of Strangle Root Geist and... Come here, you. Long nights, long nights. I don't even know the lyrics to that song, by the way. So if that's not right, that's too bad. <laughs> um, okay, so he can play Bob now, but we've got him on a pretty decent clock. Even with that. Uh, so let's see, we've got two more. We have four in that sense. Uh, there are two creatures down there. It's kind of unfortunate. Not in the sense of like, oh, that's not bad. Well, that means that Deathrite Shaman's gone. And Abrupt Decay is also active. So, well, that's how Deathrite Shaman's gone. Blah. Let me stop being an idiot. But it's not a black source. Um, we know the rest of his hand. Let me actually scroll up so I can see it. Liliana, Decay, Liliana, Blood Braid. So he's a mana away from Blood Braiding. We're really hurting from that him, actually. Um, Bob's coming in. I will trade my Deathrite Shaman for your Bob. Don't play with me. Is he serious? Dude, I am so game in this. What you got? Because I'm going to two you and kill your Bob. That's right. I'd gain life except for it doesn't change the clock. Um, yeah. Any removal on our end gets more time for us. Uh, the third wasteland. Ooh, yay. Ooh, yay. So I can't Liliana, which will be... Oh, I was figuring that'd be what I drew. Um... So what can I get now? I get Pride Mage. That's pretty pointless. He's only drawn one card per turn. We do know he's the punishing version now. Come on. Alright, so out comes this. Yes, I did just take that. There's a good reason as to why. Okay. That would have been awesome with that Deathrite Shaman in that other land. That would have been Sigarda. Um, so let's see. We can now get Knight, who will be instantly decayed. We can get a lot of things. Let's go ahead and get a Knight. Ugh. Let's see if there's anything else that we can get as well. Sigarda is the only thing that we're missing. We only have two options. Yeah, we're still a little limited in that sense, but... I mean, hey, this is actually holding up better because of the simple fact that an Abrupt Decay would have left us with nothing. Granted, that would have meant we could have gotten Knight. Knight would have been gigantic. All of that good jazz. Uh, we're going to take the Knight. It'll die. I'm going to block this turn. Should have blocked last turn. And goodbye. Yeah. 
So he's got Liliana, Liliana, Blood Braid Elf, and that's all that we know. Yeah, I did scroll back down. Let's go up and check. Liliana, Liliana, Blood Braid Elf. And the extra card from Bob. There's also a thought. Maybe I should have burned the, uh, the Strangle Root Geist. All right, give me something good. That's not good. I would have taken fetch land over that, by the way. Let's just get in. We're winning this race right now, although I got a feeling that's about to change. Ooh. No problem. Sigardus does not win this race anymore. There are instants in the yard. Surprise. Oh, this is getting worse. We're falling behind. It's the him. The him did it. Uh, top, that's good. Uh, let's see, there's a Liliana, a Bob. I'm going to take that Liliana right now. Let me see, Bob isn't what I want, but I'll take the Bob as well. Um, this is just going to kill off one of his creatures, prevent us from... Oh, wait, no, we died at Goyf. Yeah, concede. I gave him extra information. I thought I was at six. And by name. Alright. So, a bunch of things that this will actually be useful for. We're going to test that theory out here. Uh, hmm. I'm going to bring the hymns in as well. Now, there was bad talk about this card. And here's the reason why I'm still going to bring it in. That deck is basically 16 creatures. And I think that this works well with a deck that's basically similar to ours, but not really similar to ours. We should be able to deal with it. Um, um, I could say that one more time and be annoying. Um, no, let me stop. Uh, we're not going to keep the diamonds. That gives him an easy LD spell. Um, da -da 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 -da. That leaves us four cards. Mm. These are both good against him. These are good against him. This is terrible. What am I thinking here? Okay, what, are we, what else? Uh, I'm going to cut down on the discard. We're going to go to five pieces with two, un, with two uh, randoms as opposed to four pieces all targeted. Completely screw with our color wheel here. Hmm. What if I cut these out and just left it like this? Or I could leave these out. He is a high mana deck. Yeah, we're going to give this a shot. Why not? I haven't figured out this sideboard plan yet. I haven't really worried too much to try and do it. Uh, we do have interesting color requirements as far as needing white, black, black, green, green, white, 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 green, black, 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 green. But, hey, I mean, live in the moment. Cover diem. Uh, would I like to play first? Yes. I'd also like to take the last bite of my eggs and keep this hand because, oh my... Um, we're not going to be dead from one thought sees here. Mmm. That piece was about as big as my tongue. Which, if you haven't met me yet, my tongue is very wide. Not exactly the longest thing in the world, but it's very wide. Alright. What you got? What's new, pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me see, if I take this, then he gets this, and I get to pulse it. He's got a bolt mine next turn. He's got the punishing fire. What do I care about? I'm going to take this. We're just going to deal with that just straight out right now. Next turn I'll him him. Maybe I'll hit something good. Maybe I won't. 
Why aren't I boarding like I normally do against decks like this? Alright, so he'll take this. I'll him him. Uh, hopefully we'll hit his second land. That's what I'm really aiming for. Oh, he took the him. Cool. Uh, I'm going to play the Caracas. He can know my entire hand. I'm not too worried about that. I know his whole hand, but one card. Alright, so there's a bolt coming in for this. If he drew the second bob, that's annoying. But he would have taken the pulse if that was the case. Alright, so there's the punishing fire. Uh, let's go get the wasteland. Should have played the horizon canopy and turn sacked it. But for now, we're just going to pop that. I know he's got the other fetch land. That's what I was thinking I should have done instead. That's why I was thinking I should have done that instead. So that's a misplay on my part. Still holding on to this. I know he's got like hymns and things, but I mean, so be it. We'll do the right play this time. I should really be F4-ing instead of F6-ing. Go ahead and, well, you don't want to fetch, do you? Wow, he did. There we go, F4. Uh, F3, because I have something to do at the end of your turn. Come on. Show me tuna salad. What I would really appreciate would be actually be Liliana. And that's because... Oh, you're going up. The reason I'd appreciate Liliana... As I guess it's a good thing that we'll know we would have been wastelanding him this turn. Deathrite Shaman. Okay, so Deathrite Shaman is going to die. But there's Sigarda. We're going to be behind this thing. And by this thing, I mean we're going to be behind Sigarda. Yep, there's the bolt. So of his hand, we know one card now. Alright, and... There it is. We're a ways away from casting her, but we have had the mana. Oh, that's crappy. That is crappy. Uh, so that's going to be a two for, well, two for two, essentially. The Liliana is. Death, the Bloodbraid Elf is going to be all in a realm of its own. We're going to have to get rid of Sigarda. Unfortunate, but true. If I hadn't wasted, I could play her next turn, but I did waste, so yeah. Goodbye. I'm not going to make the same mistake I made last time. Uh, now we are no longer digging for lands. Let's go ahead and... I'm going to get the other Bayou. Jit, don't care about. Let's just deal with that thing. Green and black. So his hand is one unknown card. I'm going to fetch the Arbor end of turn. Oh, yay. Okay. I'm still going to fetch the Arbor end of turn. I'm still fetching the Arbor end of turn. Do something I care about. Watch me draw the pithing needle. Get the Arbor. Sure, I'll not do that and instead do this. And You know what I needed? I needed a white source. That was my bad. Hmm. Yep, that's game. Yeah, we got pretty much rocked that one. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that was not good at all. That'd actually be one that I want to go back and take a look at. I'll do that. You guys will get a review out of this one. I know I've been saying that a little bit, so... Let's see, what all did we have? He thought he's the him. You guys think I should have taken the thought he's and then risked it with the bob? I mean, I had the pulse. That actually seems like it would have been a better time, because it, then if I him him, he still gets the bob, but he's down to two lands. Uh, our wasteland knocks him down one more. That would have been pretty good. He wouldn't have had green to cast the goif until this land, the fetch land. 
Where was that? So let's replay this. No. Slide out. Let's replay this. This is where you guys get to see how terrible my memory is. Alright. So we have our opening seven, and he's got his opening seven. We thought Seasdemon took this. If we take this, he's got one other land, Punishing Fire, Lightning Bolt, Liliana, Liliana, Bloodbraid Elf. Uh, that leaves him with the land that he played, Fetch the Badlands, and that was that was in order to do this. So he had the Lightning Bolt up, so we hit him instead. We hope to hit the Lightning Bolt and the other land. Uh, those are our two good hymns. Other hymns include, the one thing we don't want to hit is the Punishing Fire. The Bloodbraid Elf not as important because if we do everything right, he's going to be stunted on lands. Um, he plays the Bob. We pulse the Bob. Let's see, let's see. The next turn, he draws and has nothing. We waste him down off of his green source if we hit, if it's available. It should be available at that time. If it's not... He had nothing, so we drop our Bob. It gets lightning bolted. He draws his third land. That would have been Liliana. Provided that we didn't see this. Uh... Yeah, because we can still waste and canopy. Maybe we should have dropped canopy earlier. No, because then we can't him. So it really depends on that him. Yeah, I think that was that would have been the right choice. So I screwed that one up. Definitely took a line, and it was that first play of the game. A line that gave him more outs. It gave him the ability to adjust to what we had in hand and allow us to drown our hand out as opposed to him drowning his hand out or becoming irrelevant. Huh. When that's available for replay, I'll go back and look at it. But I hope you guys enjoyed... Uh, Especially the theory at the end. I will talk to you guys later in the next round. We gotta stop starting these things off. Oh, one. Then again, I probably need to get some sleep. So, yeah. Alright, bye bye.